Uh, welcome back to the Disco Elysium playthrough. Um, right, last episode we spoke to the, the blokes in the bar. Um, they weren't happy with us. Um, I cannot remember how to open the map. There it is. Yeah, we spoke to the blokes in the bar. Um, they... It was like seven... Mercenaries and they all they all claimed to have hung the blokes, so we can't really arrest all seven of them, so they're top of the list. But we then wanted to find more information from Joyce over on the boat. Um but we couldn't uh we now she's said that there's a drug trafficking uh issue. And the reason there's a drug trafficking issue... Well, there is a drug trafficking issue. And they're the ones who... Her company... I can't remember the name of them. They're the ones who've caused the blockade to block the drugs from getting through into the docks. And so... Now we need to find the drugs. We spoke to the truckers. We spoke to this guy. And we decided to try and decide with him. And, and be a bit racist. Which wasn't pleasant. But he didn't tell us anything. And now... uh now Kimmy is going to be angry at us for being racist, I when imagine. When you said before that you were down with racism, was it meant in earnest? Or were you ah. just trying to win his confidence? Well, now you've done it. Let's see if you can talk your way out of this one. Um. I was, yeah. I was practicing the time on a technique known as the lie. I suppose that's a relief. Just be careful how often you avail yourself of this technique. A lie may be useful in the short term, but I have a way of catching up with you later. Mm, that is true. We know a lie, sire. And it didn't feel like one to us. No, it wasn't. He a lie. chooses to believe, though, for now. And one more thing. As you've seen, these sorts of attitudes are quite common in Martinez. So I expect this to happen again and again. I've had this mm -hmm. conversation enough times in my life. From now on, I'm going to stay out of it. How you choose to respond is... Okay. So... Um... Let's go chat to this guy up here. He, he was pretty chatty when we first spoke to him. Um, maybe he can tell us about man. the drugs. How can I help you? That's not you, officer. Nah, shit. I've already spoken. He can't before. know that. Maybe you're just younger on the photo. Uh, it's an old picture. From back when you were not a cop, but a heavy set, dark skinned dock worker named Santiago John? <sighs> shit, I've been rumbled. Yes, and you also told me you're a cop. But now that this is settled, how did you get a shift card? Oh, I did. I did. I pinched it from his desk, didn't I? Yeah, yeah, yeah. you see, I should have remembered that. Should have remembered that I stole it from that man. Uh, yeah, I found it on the ground at the Whirling Oh, ranks. John's been out drinking himself blind again. He should watch his step, that John. Can I have the card? No, it will prove useful still. Believe your thieving fingers. Mm. <laughs> No, I need it to continue my undercover infiltration of this compound. Otherwise, it's as if I stole the card for no reason. Um, no, it's evidence. Oh, is my friend in some sort of trouble? Who knew? So, I can't get in here, can I? No, uh, they're not going to be helpful. Button. How do I get down here? 
here. There we go. Right, let's continue talking to van drivers. Um, these guys are van drivers. No, these are dock workers, aren't they? Right to work! Right to work! Shame yeah. on you! We'll chat to him a bit later, potentially. Now, there is a lady down here who could be high as a kite. Maybe I should... Is there anything I can... Uh, so I smoke some, some some stuff. Right. Um, minus plus one intellect, minus one health. I haven't got any six. Oh no, these are my six. I don't really want to minus my health. This gives plus one to my psyche. Which is pretty good. I oh, want to have got what have I got here? Ah, Ferelodon. I can put some glasses on. Plus one logic, minus one authority. Yeah, let's go for it. Still hunched over the railing. Ah, huh? what is it? What do you want? Oh, should we just go direct? What do I need drugs for, Loman? What I see, what I feel, the great adversary. No drugs can compare. The adversary, that's not really what we're getting at. Where could I get a hands on experience like that? Let's ask who the yes. adversary is. There is a protagonist and an adversary. I am on the side of the adversary. There's no coming back from that hole. Okay. Those epithets are familiar somehow. The great adversary, the great unrest. If you don't know, Cash maybe system. if she thought you're corrupt. How can I make her think I'm corrupt? Oh. Why would I want to do that? Um, for commerce, the lifeblood of Isolus, or for the glory of the world, Republic, liberation, spirit of body. Let's go for this. No man. What in the name of God are you talking about? What? Maybe. Probably not. Makes no difference to me either way. You said earlier you don't know what your cargo you're hauling. Could it be drugs? How can you not know what you're hauling in your own lorry? Just this month, I made half of those in trips from Saramiris that to Grad. The u for one a what do you think they take from Saramiris that to Grad, Loman? I don't know. That's why I'm asking you. It's diamonds, Loman, obviously. Okay, let's go. If you had to guess, Easy. it's one of the drugs. He's the skinny man who thinks he's a poet. Never trust a poet. Also, he's the only one I can see from here. Ah, okay. That's, That's correct. correct. There is no visibility of any of the others. Diamonds are good for you, Loman. You should try them sometime. Mm. Make yourself pretty like Eva de Zoras. Okay, if you're not involved with the drug trafficking, then why are you still waiting? Where do you want me to go? This isn't so bad. I can listen to music or the seagulls. Look at all the colors and the features of this world. It's a good palate cleanser, this jamboree. Or I can just relax and let my mind carry me back right away to the Great Plains. I think right. we're done here, no? Yeah. Okay, so she's 
pointing at the poet. That guy. I'm stuck. There we go. Alright, Mr. Poet Man. This guy seems so friendly though. Still here. Stuck in this damn jam, my man. What's up? Okay, to spare some change for a working test. Oh, I mean, this this line of questioning just it doesn't doesn't seem prudent. You seem like a man who knows about drugs. I think I've asked him about this. Ah, oh, man, me and narcotics go way back. Had some good times surfing the psychic waves of my own consciousness, you know. But, those days are behind me. There are other addictions in my life now. Why the inquiry, my man? I need to get high and I'm looking for a dealer. Hey man, that's serious criminal talk. Are you trying to pull some sort of an entrapment mm. thing on me? Entrapment is a practice whereby an officer of the law induces a person to commit a criminal offense that the person would have otherwise been unlikely to commit, usually oh. through some trickery, persuasion, or fraud. Okay. Well, no, of course What's your deal here? So much for subtlety. Better get straight to the point. We have a credible lead, sir. Someone on this roundabout is waiting for a bell shipment from the <laughs> harbor to load it on their lorry and drive it to Jamrock. Not me, ma'am. No way. I don't need any trouble. Shit's bad enough anyway. Who do you think could be This jam's got folks trade. up in arms, and I'm afraid it's headed toward a conflagration. Look, man, I try to stay away from the criminal underbelly of Revachol. I'm a guest here. You really need to find another man to probe with those questions. We wouldn't say he's lying, sire. This guy didn't speak about drugs, but he Hello, did. compatriot. You have something to discuss? This, he, he's gonna... He's just gonna be racist. Isn't it obvious? Fucking ceiling. That beady-eyed South Samaran. His little side business is a scam. Yeah, that was why... I wouldn't why, be surprised I if mean, he was peddling <laughs> drugs as well. Of course he's a lorry driver. What? He tell you he's just some simple businessman or some shit? He's selling his employer stuff after he broke the seals on his human ox lorry. His tribe are natural liars. It's in their This guy blood. is really quite racist. He's your man, all right. One hundred percent. I wouldn't be so sure about it. Not until we've heard what Si Leng himself has to say. Yeah. I guess so. Goodbye. Goodbye, fat racist man. I hope your kids hate you. <laughs> right, let's go speak to this guy though, because he is a bit shifty. He is selling the stuff he was supposed to be delivering, which is a bit shady. Everything's still cool here, officer. Hello. Mm -mm. Can I browse his wares? You keep coming back. That's good, officer. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving that economy. This is composure. Let's see what we got here. Because I wonder if we, uh, if we get a point into composure. If we can, um... Oh, can I put, like, some clothes on? Will that give me... Reaction speed. Interfacing reaction speed. No, I don't have anything that I can put into composure. That's a shame. Um, right, let's just just uh, let's just outright ask him. Everything's still cool here, officer. Drugs? Let's just start some drugs. I don't go in for that, officer. Drugs ruin lives. Yeah, you are right about that. Unless you're into drugs, of course. In which case, drugs are excellent. Mwah. Tasty, tasty drugs. I'm actually super into That's drugs. That's very cool. 
a lot of the coolest detectives do drugs. Sadly, I don't have any drugs on sale, or at my home, or on my person. Sir, it appears to be true. No drugs in sight. No drugs in sight. Not in the box of sunglasses or under the speakers. Yeah, fine. Well, we're looking for a lorry driver who is transporting drugs out of the harbour. He or she is in this That's traffic even jam. cooler! You investigating that and all. But, uh, I am not a lorry driver. I'm just a street vendor. I don't know anything about that. A blatant lie, sire. Yet, he tells it with such conviction. We'd believe him if we didn't know better. Oh, but you are a lorry man. Another driver has identified you as you and your lorry. Who said that? It's the fat racist, right? It is. I bet it's him. He has an agenda against me because I'm an immigrant who works harder than he does. He's a hater. He is. So you admit you're a lorry driver? No, I just said I work harder and he's an asshole. I'm... Realizing he can't get out of it. Smart man. Okay, maybe I'm a lorry driver too. A little. But that's not the most important thing about me. That's my day job. This is my dream. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's go with this one, too. No, I just forgot. It's such a small mm. part of my life. It's in the rear view mirror now. I'm climbing out of that hole with ingenuity. It's top score. I mean, what do you know about the drug operation in Harbour? <laughs> let's, yeah, let, we, we've got, we've backed him into a corner. Let's, let's go in hard. Nothing. I told Box. you. I'm not a dumb guy. I don't get involved with that crowd. And what crowd is that? Yeah. Oh, God. Kim. Kim's. Kim's fucking carrying this this uh, investigation. Crowd, you know, the drug crowd. Ah, I point them out. No, he wasn't talking about an abstract crowd. It was that crowd. Oh, okay. Blackmail or intimidation? Let's go blackmail. No use. He's not telling us. He's too afraid. We need to take him to my station and ask him there. After oh. I've called his boss. Yes, Kim! Let's go! Okay, look. There's bad people doing bad things here. That's all I know. Please don't get me into this mess. I spent 15 years working my way up. Here we go. There's a tiny bit of truth on the table. Zoom in on it. If you don't want to get into this mess, you have, you have to give us a reason to move on. Let's go with that. It's a she, okay? The other drivers call her the lady driver. You're better off staying away from her. The way they talk about her, she's no lady. Interesting. Could this driver be connected to the Hardy Boys? Hmm. Yeah, let's ask. There's a lady driver of the old woman back there. I don't know. Maybe. If she is, I haven't gone near her. I don't get involved. I told you. Yeah, fair. He's not ruling her out. And yeah, could it be, um, I've forgotten her name. I don't know. I'm not local. I don't know anything about that. Who, who are the other drivers who talk? All of them. I don't know. I told you all I know. Are we cool now? Who exactly is talking about this lady driver of yours? The racist or the other one with the tattoos? All of them. Even the ones who've left. I don't hang out with them. I don't remember who has tattoos. Mm. Okay. All We're right. Cool I scored. Let's cap this off with a purchase. You can walk away from here with funky sunglasses, detective. Both of you. Yeah. You deserve it. Sadly, I don't have enough cash, but thank you for that, ceiling. You have actually been incredibly helpful. Get the tip, Kim. Let's, let's talk. Find them. Right. Yes. Uh, pardon me. 
yeah, good talk, good talk. Okay, so... I feel like we've built a pretty good rapport with the truck drivers. This guy just is friendly all around. Let's ask him. Now it's turning into a kind of a snow limbo, man. Ah, uh, yeah, you tell me about it. Um, I heard about one of the drivers is a woman, but I don't think she said, you know, the lady driver. I don't want to talk about that. He shifts around, suddenly uncomfortable, and looks away. Why, do you know something? What is? I don't mean to pry, but I need your help. She may be involved in this drug business. <sighs> yeah, one. Man, I was hoping it isn't going to be her. He bites his lip. All, All I, I can, can say, say is, is, she isn't around here anymore. She isn't some evil drug trafficker. And I don't know where she is. Who is she to you? A friend? An acquaintance. I don't know. She was the only person in this damn jam I could talk to. So she wasn't She's someone jam. I don't want to write out to the law, okay? Well, I asked who you knew, and now you, and you said you didn't. Now you're saying you do. I didn't, man. I told you I was hoping it's not her. Oh, yeah. That she wouldn't be mixed up in it. It's true. We would have caught a lie. But a kind heart is tricky. Bah. Emotional rhetoric. He knew something and he didn't share it with you. That's a fact. Okay, I don't... Yeah, well, I don't think he's going to tell us anymore. When she leaves. Damn, I don't want to... Please just let it go. Whatever she did, it can't be that bad. She's not a bad person. I know that much. We can't just let it go. It's part of a police investigation. That's how it always is with you, isn't it? All part of the investigation. The girl's troubled. If you hunt her down, she may not survive it. I can't have that on my conscience. It won't come to that. We won't pursue her on this. This is information only. I don't believe you. You said she's troubled. How? She's got the darkness in her. It's that young person's darkness when you think it's all over. And you're looking for a way out. She shared this with you? Yes. Which is why I don't want to snitch on her. <laughs> I heard the rumors. I saw the other drivers looking at me strange when we talked. And she told me too. That she's had a violent life. But I wasn't afraid of her. More like for her. Did this violent life include drug trafficking? Well, it looks like it did now, but we didn't talk about that. We talked about life, you know? She talked about her mind. Her the way mind. it worked. The trouble it was giving her. And when she left, did she leave the lorry behind? Fuck, man. Go grill someone else with these questions, okay? There are plenty of drivers here who couldn't stand her, or were afraid of her. They'd be more than happy to rat her out. He's right. There are other options. The race man, for one. Hmm. The grey-haired woman. Maybe she knows something. Now is not the time to focus on feelings. You need the info, son. Uh, I... I think I'm going to follow my logic. I'm going to speak to the grey-haired woman. Let's speak to the fat racist as a second option. Let's find another way. Thank you, friend. <sighs> wow, this makes me feel like I should pick up smoking again. It would help with my rhymes, too. Right. There's some... Um... Where is it? Is this it? The ledger. Because this gives... This... Oh no. Something gives me... It is the ledger. This gives me like a bonus, doesn't it? 
Yeah, if I was to remove that, I'd lose some intelligence, wouldn't I? Yeah, what do I gain there? I gain one inland empire, but I lose all authority. One inland domper, inland empire, but minus three authority. Jesus. Well, I need some authority here, so let's remove that. I don't need any inland empire. Let's put the crowbar in my hand, just for some. Uh, you know, I now I'm now I'm armed, so you better tell me. Yeah, what's up? Lowman, you caught me at an opportune moment. This awful weather keeps me awake. You can entertain me with your questions. All right, are you the lady driver? Let's let's accuse her. Can you just call me a lady, Harifa. She clearly doesn't think she's a lady. Don't repeat it. Well, I was told of a woman driver, and you're the only woman here. I'm not that either, Harifa. I've gone too far from it all to remember what was between my legs. It doesn't work like that on the little hall. So you're not the driver everyone is terrified of. I'm only terrifying to small children and to those who used to know me. Yeah, it's not her. Believe me. Then who's the female driver I was told of? How should I know? Do I look like I spend a lot of time with the other camioners sniffing around? When I have my movies to go to. Why are you scary to the people you used to know you? Because they can no longer recognize the person I once was. Mm -hmm. That's all I need now, thanks. Oh, silly. Something in her is pulling towards some unknown rest state. She twitches like a sleep kick. She's just a distracted old woman. We should maybe let... So he doesn't think she's the lady driver? You hear that, old man? I don't think your partner likes you spending too much time with me. Hmm, yeah, should you drive along if you get Oh, this? don't worry about me. I'm one of the best camioners around. I drive routes no one else will. What routes? The Monosov's Land, Udashnaya Zemlya, the West the Plain. A terrible cold comes over her, rattling her teeth as she steers inward. The Transcadula Magistral, you for one A, are the Stradas do Mirador, all the good ones, the deep trenches, where the bluebirds fly. I'm sort of an expert on black and you should take better care of yourself. You're right, Loman. I'm the one who should take my health more seriously. Thank you for looking out for me. A correct appraisal. You're quite shabby. Is that mm. all you woke me up to say? Right, it's not her. No, oh, we're gonna have to go speak to the fat racist! <laughs> Okay. Let's go speak to him. Hello, mate. Hello, compatriot. You have something to discuss? Yeah, I know you've been giving me the run around. Fess up. Where's the lady driver? I don't know what you're talking about. He smirks. Just tell me which one's her lorry. And why you Listen up, fuckwits. You don't scare me. You cops don't run Revachel West. You don't run Martinez. You don't run anything. So who does? The lady driver? No. He means la puta madre. A legendary, and not in a good way, crime boss from Jamrock. Controls what is probably the most powerful organized crime outfit in Revachel West. <laughs> yeah, him. Then I presume you are familiar with his peonies. 
Yeah, they're his little bitches. He's got them all over the unions. Not just the unions. He has peonies everywhere. Some say he even has them in the RCM. Oh. Dirty fucking peonies who do anything for him. Multi-ethnic drug addicts. Oh shit, I'm, I'm a drug addict. The lieutenant adopts a rodent time quality. Be cool, sire. He's getting into this. Yeah. Same. You're not peonies. You wouldn't be investigating a drug thing if you were. No, of course not. We are not peonies. But if we were, and one of Madre's drivers were to be stealing from him, then it's a good peonies job to find out who that is. He's surprisingly good at this. Yeah. Not bad at all. Look at, Look at him lurching. It's not a hard job. It won't take a long time. It won't make Padre Madre angry. But a stupid fucking racist is standing in the way, protecting this fucking thief. I'm not scared of you or the mob. I'm under the protection of the Loriman and Carter's guild. You've seen the corpse in the yard, yes? You took a peek. I know you did. Does it look like his friends protected him? <laughs> nah, you wouldn't just leave him out there if you... His hands are shaking now. The lieutenant turns and gives you a barely perceptible nod. Be careful. This man still got some fight in him by the looks of it. It won't be easy to break him. Ah, oh, this... Can I do anything to raise my half life? Oh, I can't. Where is half line? It's here. So it's psyche. Let's, uh. Oh, but if I do this. Oh, God. If only if I. I could drink my, um. Oh, 42%. Got plus two from Kins. Kim's bluff. Saw so you saw you snooping cabin. Right, let's let's just keep chatting to him, see if he drops anything. What what was the argument? Uh, about? It's about biological determinism. Natural not ah. the most popular topic nowadays with a coalition in charge. Suit yourself, officer. Okay, let's I think I can come back to it. So let's go into plus one psyche, minus one morale. Patriot. 58. Something to discuss? Okay, let's go for it. Men like this yes! <laughs> only respect two things. Strength and fear. Time to turn up the volume. Show me her lorry right fucking now. The lady driver's lorry. Where is it? Fuck you. I told you. I'm not gonna... There. His voice grows smaller as yours. I'm gonna fuck you for the rest of my life. You understand? I'm gonna put you in a cell with a giant kipped. You're gonna be bleed. You're gonna be a bleeding kip dick. You hear me? Or oh, you would hate that. I've been to your fucking lorry. I know where it is. I'm gonna burn it down. You hear me? What's your name, fuckhead? I'm gonna go police radio saying this guy told Madre to fuck off. Let's do this one. I'm gonna put you in a cell with a giant kipped. Kip, kip. Yeah. Either way, he's racist against them. You're gonna be bleeding kipped it, you hear me? Look, fuck you, man. It's some lorry down there. Green banged up thing. I don't fucking know who she is. When did she go away? I don't know. I don't even know her name. She just rolls with the fleet and acts like a big shot. Some dyke, probably. 
I haven't even seen her for days. Where exactly, where exactly is her, Lauren? Past the monument, down there. The Green Temple. Now, leave me the fuck alone, okay? A small temple by the monument. Green. Let's get into that lorry. Thank you, you fat racist. Well, I'm, I'm very glad we managed to intimidate him out of that. Right, now the issue is, I don't know what green is. Is this green? This is green. This green found A to Z, Contempora, is parked in the shadow of the ruins looming overhead. It's seen better days. Nice. This must be the one he told us about, unless he was lying. Tried to peek in the window. The glass on the side windows is tinted and oh. covered with dust. You can barely make out the shape of the seat and two Let's steering try. levers. Let's try the door handle. The door is locked. The handle looks shiny, like it's recently replaced. There's no pigeon in this lock. The owner has put special care into it. It's a recessed design. Use the pry bar to smash the window. Open it from the inside. Good idea. I don't know how good it is, but this investigation has taken long enough. We can't afford yep. it to take any longer. Right, let me um equip me bar. This green found A to Z content is parked in the shadow of the ruin. Is there anything else I can do to raise my physical? Ah, oh, there you go. T-shirt from Heimdall. I'm wearing a rock and roll T-shirt now. This green found A to Z oh. Contempora is Didn't parked really in the shadow of the me. Right, well, let's try it. Overhead. It's a no! Bar we take a hard swing at the window. A loud thunk rings out and the pry bar bounces back. Leaving a tiny spider web on the glass. Goddamn maggot. Drag your ass to the gym and do some reps right now. Looks like the window might be shatterproof. You may have to rethink your approach. Uh, the window appears to really hit. Another yeah. futile thunk sounds in the brisk coastal air. This has been hard enough. No need to make it any harder. He smashes ones. it into the window. <gasps> Droplets Thanks, of Kim. glass fly everywhere, shattering over the lorry floor and pavement. You can just reach in now. Nice. Mm -hmm. It went better than I expected. Open it from the inside. The smell of cigarettes and perfume welcomes you. The cabin inside is plastered with old movie posters. Actresses smile from the walls. There's a radio transmitter in the front and a toolbox tucked under the driver's seat. Some tools lie scattered near the pedals. There's something odd about the passenger seat. Ooh. The seating fabric has been pulled tight over the lower side of the seat where the toolbox should be. Peel off the cover of the passenger seat. Voila, a stack of neatly folded papers has been stashed behind the seating Ooh. fabric. You see three maps depicting a large metropolitan area. It's Revachon. Some of its routes and highways have been outlined with a pen. Bonne prise. Forward open the topmost map. This large <coughs> map displays the elevated motorway called 881. The intake leading to Martinez is marked with a blue X. There's another X on the off-ramp at a place called the Old South. Toll booths at the intakes are marked with a circle. It looks like there are scant few ways of getting onto the elevated motorway that runs over Jamrock. And this person Ooh. knows them all. They know all the smuggling There, race. hundreds of thousands of motor carriages roar on the 881, high above the mass of brown and red roofs that is Jamrock. The commuters don't even look down. The world ceases to exist outside the windshield. Where does the road Takura. lead? through the middle-income neighborhoods there, by the river, and then to Stella Maris and La Delta for work, while the men and women of Jamrock scuttle to their fates below the road. Nice. 
board open in a second. This municipal map from the 30s displays a complex system of storm sewers underneath a sub-district called the Pox. Old military hospital right adjacent to the 41st precinct. Wind, wind rips through the empty hallways of the once great military hospital. Now, just a ruin under an overgrown park. Beneath the hospital, great sewer tunnels hum and vibrate with life of their own. The rattle of motor carriages and lorries driving through long forgotten tunnels, lit by gaslights. Oh, smuggling the final roofs. map displays a labyrinth of service tunnels left over from the construction mm. of Motorway 881. A few routes have been marked with a pen, where the tunnels and sewers surface near the eminent domain and a traffic island in central Jamrock by the lake. These service tunnels were probably used during the construction of the foundation beneath the motorway. Despite the cold, figures move about cloaked in shadow their breath escaping in white clouds that fade into the darkness. Wherever you look, the night gives cover to her messengers. Where are they going? They travel from eminent domain to perdition and onto the main, over the River Esperance, on Route 881 to the Old South. The exit ramp is supposed to be shut down, but there's uh. much activity. The road spreads like the tentacles of a great octopus. Looks like the smugglers have infiltrated the road network belonging to East Motor Tract. The smugglers have infiltrated the Motor Tract. Trade with him. The RCM patrols most of these auxiliary roads, though apparently not all of them. Where does the contraband end up? Hard to say. This distribution network looks certainly large, yet still vague enough. It doesn't reveal much about the Besmerti behind it. Besmerti? The Besmerti is a Revacholian crime syndicate. Ah. They see themselves as the inheritors of the 14 Revacholian Indo tribes. But really, they're just violent gangs vying for control on the west side of Revachol. <coughs> With cool names like La Puta Madre and Aura Masta, it's a dark parody. Ah, okay, so that's the gang. Uh, okay, we've turned the stack. Best not to disturb the scene. The scene. I'll have forensics go over the lorry and pick this up later. The stack of maps looks just like before, barely noticeable. The movie stars look silently by, and the pull-out toolbox has a rubber handle, worn from years of use. A metallic drawer slides out from the seat. It's empty, except for a folded newspaper. Not it's an paper. issue of Petty Ferric from last Wednesday. A piece of paper falls out from its pages. It looks like an article ripped out from a radio enthusiast magazine. Complex mathematical equations explain the basics of something called the ULAN frequency system. These formulas look oddly painful. Maybe it's the hangover, but they give you a headache. Damn. The ULAN frequency system? I've never heard of that before. I know of FM, AM, UKV, but... Mm. Unfold the newspaper. It's an issue of Petty Ferry. It looks like an art. These are the ULN frequencies. The pull out two bolts uh, back into its nest. The rest, check, check you the wedge yourself under the steering wheel to get a better look. Seems like the few tools lying around here a hammer, a pair of pliers, but one odd detail does catch your eye. A piece of sandpaper has been glued to the throttle. Interesting. Sandpaper adds extra grip. Sandpaper, a novel technique. Mm. The sandpaper would also rubble the pattern from the driver's right boot sole. It would. Yes. One of the footprints of the crime scene had an aberration. One sole was smoother than the Which other. Which means that the missing lady driver was present at the lynching. Oh, it's all coming together. Wait, the missing eighth hardy here. Looks like her. Yes. Mm. And she's also the one running the drug handle. First the drug smelling, now this. How do you describe a whole gold women shake your head? Always up to something. Now we know for certain who is the missing eighth person at the lynching. Do you think that Hardy and his boys could also be involved in the drug operation? Mm, yeah. Maybe. Yeah. 
Yeah, it would fit what Joyce said, but we don't want to make any assumptions. Understood. We should still go and see what Titus has got to say on the matter. Yeah. Are we finished with the lorry? The movie stars are still smiling from the walls. The radio transmitter sits on the set. Looks like the frequency dial is absent. It requires a key to work, oh. but the key has been removed. Likely by the missing lady driver. Strange. There are so many radio stations saved here. Must be over 100 at least. Yeah. For contacting an entire fleet of lorrymen, for example. This is all shortwave, UW and UKV. Looks like we are dealing with an impressive organizational mm. tool. The nerve center of a huge operation. With quite a range, too. A 20 kilometer radius at least. Perhaps extended by an attachable antenna that's not here right now. Cool. The ghostly actresses. And these are the movie posters. posters featuring starlets from long forgotten films from the 20s, the teens, even the 90s of the last century. One of them particularly catches your eye a centerfold of an ingenue attached right above the back seat. There's definitely perfume in the air. It's spicy, with a hint of amberette, wafting through the bitter air of the cabin. The remnants of a sweet juniper-scented perfume, probably Granite Number no. 5. Granite Number no. 5. The actress is draped in a sheath dress, one of her shoulders bared. The faded remains of an autograph run across the poster. She's looking past the camera. Wait, doesn't she resemble someone you know? But you can't put your finger on whom exactly. God damn it. This is Tip Tijon, a starlet from the dawn of cinematography, less known for her talent than her tragic, oh. untimely death. What, what happened to She her? wasted away in a drug den called The Door to the River, not far from here on Boogie Street, a mixture of cocaine and morphine. She was afraid of the world, and the camera, too. Okay. The actresses the and the rear actor all smile you a warm goodbye. You close the rusty old lorry door. Great. I think we got everything. A word, detective? Before we return to Joyce? Indirect modes of taxation. Ah, oh, I completed the thought. Turns out, those financial oversight committee gangsters stuffed millions of hard-earned dividends away in the last place anyone thought to look. The hearts and minds of everyday River Sholians. You need to spread that deregulation gospel to the people. Tell them about that foreign fear tax. Preach that 98% gross burden. Preach it, preacher man. Set the brothers free. Taxes are racist. Down with the taxes. Ultra-liberal dialogue options give plus one real. Minus one empathy. You think he's a hustler or something. Ooh, okay. Minus one empathy. That's not, not ideal, but... Oh, well. At least I get money now, though. <laughs> Let's chat. All right, we've finished here. Let's quickly debrief and go over what we found, so we don't do it in front of the company rep. Yeah. Honestly, I'm quite worried by what we've seen so far. The evidence seems to point to a rather extensive and well-organized operation. It does. I'm especially intrigued by that radio transmitter, particularly the sheer number of stations it can connect. Looks like this alleged drug trade casts a wide net. Mm. This means it's well funded. Technology like that, a major player must be financing it. Yeah. I'm not sure what the ULAN frequencies are all about, but they may hold some significance. Perhaps it's a better way to connect between fleets while avoiding frequency bleed, or maybe it's used to tap into RCM networks. Mm. Oh, and the maps we found. They reveal the geographical extent of the operation. Looks like they've used abandoned tunnels and access roads to stay hidden. This is useful info. And last but not least, it looks like the Hardy Boys knew this driver, as we know that she was present at the lynching. Yeah. This may be the union connection we've been searching for. Hmm. 
Like yeah. Joyce told us, yes, logistically. But don't expect to bust this open during our stay here. At best, this is an angle we can use against them to other ends as extra ammunition. Meaning, someone as slippery as Evera won't be caught by a couple of cops and some stuff they found in some cabin. Yeah. Will the RTM open an investigation? We should return to the murder case. See what Joyce tells us about the lynching. Yeah. When we are done for the day, I call my station and suggest our narcotics department look into it. There are more than enough grounds to start an official investigation sometime later when we're done here. We do not want to get caught in that. The fact that one hasn't started already gives me pause. An investigation, I mean. Especially if the Madre grouping is involved, and I can't imagine there aren't. It's certainly worrisome. Corruption? All the same, I don't like the idea of internal affairs descending on the matter. That won't help anyone either. What about all the movie posters? As elegant as they are, I don't think they are relevant. To don't be fooled. Desire always plays a role. Maybe the traitor is some sort of cinephile. Yes, well. I could brief off over. Right, let's go talk to Joyce. We've done this all within the morning as well. What a. We've had a very successful morning. We haven't found any. Uh, fuck you. Uh, we haven't found any. Um, speed yet, but, you, you know, we'll find it eventually. So, the lady driver hasn't been seen for a few days, but she was at the lynching. We have... Um, evidence to believe she was at the lynching, and could that also be the same lady who bought my gun? Hmm? Because the lady did purchase my firearm. Right, Joyce. You're back. Good. What can I help you with? Tell me about this drug trafficking. Let's talk more about this bow. Wild pines. Okay. I spoke with the lawyer in the yes, roundabout. My eyes on the harbour have sent word to that effect. What have you discovered? Uh. Wait, where exactly were those eyes located? It doesn't located? really matter. And I do apologise for the surveillance. Wild pines can't afford to be blind at a time like this. One of the tall buildings overlooking the roundabout. Most likely. That would give them a read on the entire quarter. Hmm. In any case, it's a relief to know someone has looked into it. If I may ask, will there be an official investigation? I assume you discovered there is an operation. If there is an investigation, it will be part of an ongoing operation, subject to confidentiality. I am sure you understand. Of course, detectives. In any case, you've held up your end of our arrangement. I trust you with the rest. Now it's my turn. I wouldn't normally break protocol like this, but the situation demands it. If you don't solve this murder, I'm afraid we may have a bloodbath on our hands. Right. You said contain this. Tell me again, how are the lynching sounds? Uh, you said, yeah. Uh, you said contain the situation. Yes. I'm afraid this strike may descend into a small scale civil war with possible consequences for all of Rivershall West. Oh. Since you are sharing, man, this is also the RCM's worst case scenario. Yeah. Then we're on the same page, as grim as it may be. Tell me again, how are the lynching strike connected? I have an indirect role to play, I'm sad to say. My employer experienced a momentary lapse of faith in me. In that moment, they elected to deploy a private military contractor as an insurance measure. They called it my security detail. Moment. Uh, do you need a security Absolutely detail? Absolutely not. These mercenaries are muscle, pure and simple. They are meant to intimidate the Union into surrendering. Who are they, exactly? Cronel, an Oranese military company. As far as I know, three arrived in Martinez. They report to me sporadically, but they do not answer to me. To be frank, our relationship is deteriorating. They wear ceramic armor, have semi-automatic weapons and years of combat experience. They also have trauma and stressor disorder, and no idea how to conduct themselves in an urban civilian environment. Shit. So, what happened? 
The story is, one of them, the Colonel, I don't know his real name, sexually assaulted a local woman while he was drunk and separated from his unit. This allowed some of the more militant Union members to subdue him. He was taken out behind the whirling in rags and lynched last Sunday night. Ah. Nothing. Mr. Clare refuses to let me into the harbor. I have not been able to discuss this matter with anyone there. The remaining two Cronell contractors carry out their orders, for now. It's a smokescreen. In secret, they are conducting an independent military tribunal into the lynching. Once this investigation is concluded, executions will follow. What is the nature of this so-called investigation? Whether to execute one, some, or all of the Union militants. Boy, oh boy, is that not good. Um, I have to say, this is not disco. Uh, maybe the investigations can team up, you know, share resources and intelligence. Yeah, let's go with this. Surely you're joking. These people are killers. Oh. My only hope is I that yours provides that. a single, concrete suspect before they indiscriminately pick theirs. Simply put, if you don't pin this on someone good and do it fast, they will identify and execute everyone present at the lynching. This in turn will force the Union to respond. Right. The debarder have over 2,000 men. It will be a thousand to one. Have you ever seen a hornet invade a beehive, Lieutenant? It's not pretty. The Serais giant hornet, the world's second largest insect. I don't need to These notice. men work in tandem using semi and fully automatic firearms. Their armor is virtually impenetrable to muzzle-loaded weapons, even yours. Most Union workers don't have guns at all. The muzzle loaders need to be reloaded after every one or two shots. The automatics every one or two minutes. As I said, a bloodbath. Uh, I can't see this happen. Too many things would have to go wrong first. I think the confrontation is inevitable. It doesn't have to be like this. Nameless, badgeless officer of the citizens' militia. One single concrete suspect delivered into civil court, and I may be able to defuse this situation. Okay, right. What can you tell me about Krenov? Their public resume is relatively good, as far as private military contractors go. I believe they were once called Downwell. They boast a long list of clients. Saint-Baptiste, Welchmann Lorenz, Eendracht. A warning sign, however. The operations concerned all take place in third or fourth world countries. Guarding facilities, escort missions and such. Meaning they are used to operating in war zones. Yes. All the good conflict corridors, Supramundi, Yesut, the Seminese Islands, countries that don't have a good record reporting atrocious military conduct on their soil. Sadly, no. Before this happened, I had little interest in them. Now that I do, I don't have the resources. If you still have access to the ICP's database, you could run a better background check than I ever could. The International Collaboration Police, ICP, is charged with coordinating law enforcement activities in complex multinational investigations. Their database is the single largest source of information. Do you know a lot about the inner workings of the RCM and the ICP, man? In my line of work, it pays to do your research. I was prepared to deal with the RCM. I did not think I would be dealing with a group like Cronell. I have, and they will. However, these orders take time to reach what is basically a rogue unit out in the mm, field here. Shit. Until they do, it's all on us. She's being truthful. She is pressing them as hard as she can. Right. We will continue this questioning of Joyce in the next episode. But thank you very much for watching. We've uh, done some good detective working today. Well, Kim has carried us. Thank you.